G'day guys, Kieran here from KJH Woodworking. Today we are going to install this Bailey Attic Ladder in our mezzanine. So if you want to see how we do that, stick around. It is the same process from installing it from mezzanine as you would a truss roof. So whether you're plaster, whatever your ceiling lighting is, same process. Well, let's show you how it gets done. Let's get this bad boy out and see what we're working with. While we get stuck into this build, go ahead and smash that like button because that helps us spread to more people like you and really helps us grow as a channel, which we are greatly appreciative for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun and smash that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video to YouTube. Cheers guys, enjoy the video. So your ladder itself, which seems to be well built and then in a separate packet you have your feet. So actually bust this open. So you get in feet, your coke screws, washers and the, I assume the handle you use to pull down the unit and your instruction manual. You don't need those because you got this video. So stick around, you'll see how we do it. Okay, so I'm hoping you can hear me up here. We are up on the top of the mezzanine. What we're gonna do is mark out the size so we can cut this out. If you were doing this on a ceiling, you'd mark the ceiling and trim that out. Key things to remember if you're doing it on the ceiling. This particular unit is designed to fit between 600 mil trusses. So if you can, get in between the trusses because a truss, if you cut a truss, you need to get that engineered. If you're unsure about the sizing of structural members and how to work that out for your load and everything, make sure you contact your qualified carpenter or engineer as they will be able to assist you in that, but we're going to cut this out, mark this all out, cut it out, and then we'll go from there. Let's get this cut out. Logically, I'm going to sit here and cut around and then fall. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Okay, so if you're using a sensor light, make sure you turn it on so it doesn't switch off mid fill And now I have absolutely no way of safely getting down the ladder that got me up here. This could be fun. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and rest here. Okay, now let's get cutting. You don't realize how much you miss dust control until you're not using it. So I'm not lugging my vacuum up here. Okay, so we've got the hole cut out. Now we're gonna have to reframe this. So basically we're gonna plumb down and then take out everything that is inside that hole, run a new joist that's going to effectively pick up our trimmers. I cannot stress this enough. If you are cutting roof trusses, it will void your structural warranty of your home. Make sure you get it engineered. Get it engineered. That's the frame complete we've trimmed it all out ready for the ladder as well as ready for the sheeting for when we sheet the underside of the mezzanine as you can see all the joists have been joist hangered and fixed off the beam that is picking up the joists that's catching those joists has been bolted with a heavy duty steel angle rather than the joist hangers before we go to fit the ladder make sure you pull the jawstring through and tie that off because it's going to make it so much easier to pull that ladder down down when you're fitting it. Take some scrap timber and fix that to each end of where the ladder's gonna be. That will allow you to slide the ladder up and sit it on there while you get some temporary fixings in there. You just wanna make sure you're only protruding into your cutout about 20 mil at each end so that you can still pull the ladder down to get your temporary fixings in. Now that you've got that down, you're just gonna grab a couple of decking screws or chipboard screws and just put two screws in the back, sorry, two screws in the top where it hinges from and two screws at the back. With the top edge, you don't want a gap. You want to have that as tight into your trues as possible because that's where all of the load's going to be. And then we'll evenly space all our gaps around the, uh, the pruner. But at the hinge end, no gap, as tight as possible. We are going to throw in some um, coach bolts as well, or lag screws. So these are just a temporary fix while we're moving around and doing stuff. So once you've got your temporary fixings in place to hold them in place, you want to check that it's square. So to do that, measure corner to corner on your diagonals and make sure it's the same distance. If it's not, you're going to have to pack it off to square the, um, the ladder up. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. So in my case, I can take my two screws out of this end, move it across ever so slightly and then screw it back in. So I'm just going to take a wedge and wedge that into the corresponding corner that needs to come over. Check my measurements again. Beautiful. I am happy there. And now to permanently fix this off, we're going to take a lag screw or a coach bolt, coach screw, and screw it in through the bracket. There's four corresponding holes. We're going to drill out a five millimeter hole. And then when you, where you've got your support arms, you've got another bolt that goes through the bracket. But what you want to do is make sure you pack off so you keep it all straight. We don't slide packers in it's just gonna pull the edge in 
bending your support arms. This is where window packers are fantastic. And then down the back edge, you just want to roughly space a couple of the bolts. Don't go through these uh, end blocks. So once you've got that in and secure with all your bolts, go ahead, pull off your temporary supports if you haven't already done so. I'm also going to shorten my drawstring because I'm pretty tall. So I'm going to tie this off somewhere up here and Heather is just going to have to suck it up. I mean, I love you, honey. Another moment of truth. Does it come down? Beautiful. So this particular ladder is designed for a range of ceiling heights. So it is designed so that you can this bottom leg down to suit your ceiling. And then you take the two feet that come with it and bolt them on according to the height of your ceiling. I'm hoping you didn't take my advice and you did actually hang on to the instructions and didn't throw them out because in there, there is a handy table that tells you how much to cut off. So you measure your ceiling heights, mine is 2,400. You refer to that table and it tells you how much to cut off the end. And then you just grab a hacksaw, cut that off, bolt on your feet and you're done, ready to use it. Okay, to fit the feet, what you want to do is take your foot, slip it over the end, put that firm into the ground. You're looking for no gap at either join in the ladder. So you want to make sure that's tight to the ground, fit that firm into the ground, mark out your hole, take that off, then drill out your hole, fall through the hole. The other side, they come with locking nuts. So top that on, do the same on the other side, and you're good. And that, my friends, is how you install a Bailey attic ladder. It is as simple as that, quick and easy. Took me probably three hours from start to finish, including filming. Uh, and we are done with that. If you liked the video, smash the like button. That is greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And we will catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.